If you've been on any social media platform where Geometry Dash has a presence, you've probably seen this series of hashtags on many comments. As many of you know, I've recently been promoted to a moderator in Geometry Dash, so now I can send levels to Robtop. So I've decided that today, I'm going to look at some extreme demons that are currently unrated and decide whether or not I should send them to Robtop and give my reasoning why. Alright, so the first extreme demon I'll be looking at is, surprise surprise, Arcturus. So as I'm sure many of you know, Arcturus might be the new top 1 extreme demon, if it gets raided. So it's up to moderators to send it to Robtop, and it's up to him to decide if he wants to raid it or not. And chances are, if he's getting sent it a bunch of times, he might raid it. But the problem is, getting a lot of mods to send this to him is kind of a problem because the decoration isn't necessarily amazing. Like, I mean, I personally think it's pretty cool, but like, when you really boil it down, it's just Hell Theme, Extreme Demon, Top 1. But the thing that really redeems this level for me and some others I know is the fact that it's the, the atmosphere it presents, like the intimidating atmosphere, just really fits like the difficulty being top one and extremely hard. And like the effects and colors, of course, like it all fits. And how this last part right here is like super intense, like it all just works to make a really intimidating level that I really like actually. And one thing I've noticed about Arcturus is like the level kind of grows on you. Like, when I first saw it, I was like, eh, okay, just hell theme, not really anything interesting, maybe it'll get star rated. And originally when it first came out and verified, like, I didn't even expect it at all. Like, I thought it was going to be Firework or Abyss of Darkness out first, but yeah, this kind of came out of the blue. And the problem was, this song is not on Newgrounds at all. Like, well, this is, but you have to replace it with, like, the actual song you see in the video and stuff, because it's copyrighted or whatever. And the decoration isn't great, and... And one of my major problems with this level is that it doesn't embrace the length. Like, the last 6% is literally just black screen to get to one minute. And it's not, like, a huge deal. Like, parts like this in the background right now, like, this whole wave stuff, I love this. This is great. But, like, in between the transitions from, like, part to part, and then that whole end screen situation, probably, like, 15% of the level, or even 20% maybe, is literally just black screen. Like, the least they could have done is add some art, or maybe like an end screen even. Like, I don't know what's the deal with that. But overall, like I said, I really enjoy the intimidating atmosphere of this level, and I feel like it's fitting for its difficulty. Like, possibly a top one, maybe top three, I don't know. I'm not one to judge that. I'm just here for the decoration, and... And personally, I think that this should definitely get star rated, without a doubt. Feature is really pushing it, like, maybe if the song was on Newgrounds, I would say Feature. I mean, it doesn't really matter, because it's, it's an extreme demon. Realistically, the only people approaching this are going to be on a computer anyways. So it's not like mobile players are going to be missing out on the full experience, because they're not playing this. I'm really torn between Feature and Rate. I think I'm just going to go with Star Rate, because I really don't like how it's fluffed out a lot. Like, the end, that whole thing's like 6% black screen, like, in between parts, there's like 5% transitions of just nothing. I just really feel like there could be something there. And had there been, I probably would have sensed for feature. But now I'm saying star rate. I think this deserves a star rating, 100%. And I hope it does get rated. Because getting Rob Top to see demons, especially like extreme and insane, is a lot harder than like a normal level. So, yeah. By the way, I have almost- I have the second most liked comment on this. That's pretty awesome. This is totally a welcome to GD News moment, with my 2% high score. The next level I'm gonna be looking at is Kuzaretta by Tenno. So, I've- I completely butchered that spelling. In all honesty, I think Kuzaretta looks great. Like, granted, it is heavily inspired off of Kawaretta and Wazaretta, but I think it has enough to kind of retain its own identity. And like, I love all the flowers, the pink and purple visuals. I think the whole team involved with this did a pretty good job. The only part I don't really like is this part in the background right now. Like, I hate to use this word, but I feel like it's really monochrome, and this is just like a big quality up in my opinion. No offense, like, I just, it's not bad, but the rest of the level just outshines that part a lot. But other than that, I don't really have much to say about this level. I, I think it's good. There's not much else I can say about it. Even though it's not on Newgrounds, it's it's still a good level and it's, it's an extreme demon. 
so it's not really a huge barrier for mobile players. And I, I, I like it. I like it. I think this is worthy of a feature. Alright, the next level I'll be looking at is Oblivion. Not Oblivious, Oblivion. Oh my god. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys, I don't like this level. I feel like it's way too derivative of the original Cognition, and it really doesn't add that much to what Cognition could have been. Like, as a sequel coming out, like, years later, it should be way better, and I feel like it only minorly upgrades some things. And dare I say, I think Cognition looks better. I just think it has way more charm to it, like, mostly thanks to the song. And the song choice is another thing. The song Cognition? Beautiful. One of my favorite songs in an Extreme Demon. This song is just a Creo song, and the drop just doesn't reflect that song very well to begin with, and the song, it just doesn't feel like a Cognition sequel to me. Like, maybe the pre-drop a little bit, but the drop, I, I just, I'm just not feeling it. I really don't like this. Like, the decoration's good and all, but for what it is, like, I guess a Cognition sequel, it just doesn't do it right. I feel like it needs to really improve it a lot. Like, it's a sequel, a remaster, it's supposed to be way better, not just, like, a similar style and, like, rip-off. Well, not a rip-off, but I, I just don't like this level. And I don't mean to be harsh, it's just I've grown very tired of all these remake Extreme Demons. Like, I made a whole video about how there's, like, so many remakes and stuff, like, a few weeks ago, maybe in a month now. And it, it's just getting old. It's like Hollywood remaking the same movies over and over because it worked before, so why not just play it safe and do it again? Ride off the success of its other. And I'm not saying remakes are terrible, like, they can be really good. Like, sometimes it actually makes sense to do. Like, some old levels could really use new decoration, and it could be really cool. But other times, it, it just doesn't work. Like, there's so many things you can make that are unique, other than just top 1, top 5, top 10 remakes. I just, if it's gonna be a remake, it's gotta be really good and add on a lot to the original for me. Now, that's not to say I don't think Oblivion should get rated. If it gets rated, sure. But I'm, I'm not, I personally do not want to send this level. The next level I'm going to be looking at is Infinite Iniquity. Now this level's been getting requested a lot lately, and I don't blame people. See, I think this is an example of a good remake. It adds a lot to the original and looks a lot better while still retaining somewhat of the identity of the original, so it's related. I think this is a good level. Like, sure it's rough around the edges sometimes, and it's a little bit old, but I like it. It's definitely very inconsistent decoration-wise, as some parts are way better than others, and it's also completely, like, random sometimes. Like, there's no set theme, but in a way it adds charm to this level, and charm is a very important factor in levels. Like, levels can look, like, not that great, like, on a surface level, but they just have so much charm to them that you can't help but like them. And I think this is one of those levels, and, like, the overall product of it just makes it really likable to me, and the fact that it's four minutes long, ex extra extra long, fitting to the whole song is great to me. I really like this level. The level feels much different and more improved than the original, while still retaining the identity like I said before, like for example this whole jetpack thing in the back right now, there was a part like this towards the end of the original level as well, so it's like a great callback while still improving it, and it's a very unique thing to this infinite iniquity twisted tranquility series. For that reason, I think this level can be featured. See, originally I was really torn on this because verified by Crazen, but that, that, that was way before anything came out, so it's not Flukester's fault, and I still think it should get rated, I don't want that to hold it back. Because originally I didn't really want to send this, I was like, uh, do I really want something being rated that has, you know, Crazen credit in it? But he verified it and there's nothing really to do to change that like what are you gonna get somebody to re-verify something it's probably even beat like 10 times already so yeah i quite like this and i totally agree with Jacob here really weird charm to it the next level i'm going to be looking at is true effect so this level definitely grew on me like i always thought it was pretty good but i just i like the it's it's, it's hard to explain like i like the color scheme in this level and the gameplay is interesting to look at, to play, I don't know. But like those whole like wave spam things, great for thumbnails. <laughs> and I just, I really don't have much to say about this. It's solid. It's not amazing. It's not bad. And I really like how there's like art incorporated in some parts. And I wish it was more consistent in that regard. Like some parts just glow like this right now. 
while others are more artsy, kind of like this, I guess. And I just wish it was a little bit more consistently artsy than rather than having some parts just be strictly typical glow you see in Mega Collabs. So yeah, Trufa, in my opinion, definitely deserves a feature. Very solid level. I like it. I mean, it's not perfect, but I like it. So I can definitely see it getting featured. So yeah, that's all the extremes I have to look at today. I know there's plenty more, so do you guys think I should make another one of these videos? It was honestly kind of fun to make, and it's more lax, like this is not scripted at all, as you can probably tell by me uh, losing my train of thought a lot. <laughs> and yeah, but this was enjoyable, I'd like to make another one of these, so comment down below more extreme demons I should look at, and I'll check them out in another video probably. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, I would greatly appreciate it if you liked and subscribed, and yeah, have a great day.